Welcome everyone to our fourth annual research celebration. Uh, thank you all for coming out tonight. Uh, one of the things that we have done here at LSU Health over the past five years or so has been to highlight and recognize the outstanding research that takes place here at our institution. As many of you know, and you'll see here this evening through all these awards and some of the facts and figures, research plays a critical role in not only our institution, but all the academic medical centers throughout the United States. So for example, just looking at the National Institutes of Health and their research funding across the United States contributes greater than $5.4 billion of economic development in both the local and statewide area where that money goes into. You know, when you look at what we do, we have a tripartite mission, if you will. Uh, we're supposed to educate. Well, there's a lot of places that educate, okay? We're supposed to take care of patients. Well, there's a lot of pl patients getting taken care of uh, around, but there's not a lot of research getting done, okay? So this really is the thing that makes us unique. And this is a huge economic driver for any um, uh, area that has an AMC. This is the, the thing that just moves us in the, uh, in, in the right direction. There's been over a 326% increase in extramural federally funded research to our campus. We're on point to achieve that and more this year. Thus far, we have approximately 17 million that have come in year to date, and we have six additional grants that are on uh, the, the, what we call just in time that will be activated before the end of the fiscal year, which will bring our total well above $19 million. We've historically focused on NIH grants, but there's several people in the audience that you'll hear about in a little while that have actually diversified our research portfolio to NASA. Um, and on top of that, the Department of Defense is crucial because there's many things that are happening in the geopolitical space that require science and advancements. So in addition to research funding coming into the institution, we also have technology transfer. And these are the data that you see here in terms of the number of uh, patent disclosures as well as issued patents, both national and international, as well as licensing agreements because patents are fantastic but if you don't find a way to license them to the outside, to the private sector, you really can't utilize and capitalize on their growth. In addition to that, we've also had this past year an incredible surge in clinical research. And so there's two individuals that I would like to recognize that have just done an outstanding job of getting our clinical research uh, directed toward um, growth and being on a very sustained trajectory. One, that is Dr. John Venturi, whom all of us know. He's actually led the way in conjunction with Ms. Erin Yates, who is our director for the Clinical Trials Office, to modernize and get the Clinical Trials Office to a position where we are not only more nimble, but we're more responsive and being able to bring clinical trials that are important for the citizens of Louisiana. But I thought it was important to remind everyone, in particular people who may be new here, what our research centers here at LSU Health actually are. So the centers are where departments and faculty can go and obtain resources, whether it's core facilities, whether it's intramural grant opportunities, whether it's collaboration opportunities. That's what these centers do. The Center of Excellence in Arthritis and Rheumatology with Dr. Hyatt as well as Dr. Yorajko have been working tirelessly to lift the new COBRE, Center for Applied Immunology and Pathological Processes, which has gotten off to a fantastic start. The Weiss-Weidler Cancer Center, under the auspice of Dr. Sarah Thayer, has done a fantastic job of collaboration and engagement with New Orleans through the INCORP program. And when that INCORP trial program was audited, it received a perfect score. Thirdly is the Center for Brain Health. that's under the direction of Dr. Elizabeth Dispro. And as many of you know, the CBH has begun to work with the Bridge Association over on Olive Street, which is fantastic because this is now an opportunity for families that have individuals that say, for example, have Parkinson's or Alzheimer's disease to get education and support. 
Fourthly is the Center for Cardiovascular Diseases and Sciences. That's under the leadership of Dr. Wayne Orr and several others. And actually, Dr. Orr and Dr. Karen Stokes have been indispensable and instrumental in creating a T32 training program, which is the first of its kind here in the state of Louisiana. The fifth center is the Center for Emerging Viral Threats. Being led by Dr. Andrew Rochko has also experienced an incredible amount of growth. As we all know, that center has done well over half a million viral tests, sequenced well over 10,000 viral genome sequences, given well over 100,000 vaccines, and it continues to grow. And then last, but certainly not least, is the Louisiana Addiction Research Center. And this is under the leadership of Dr. Nick Getters, and really, LARC also represents a really important and new area that we're going here, not only at LSU, but in the region, focusing on the scourge of addiction. So this just shows you a handful of the caliber of the things that are going on. I am pleased to present two extramural funding awards. Extramural funding is defined as research funding from non-LSU entities, such as federal, state, local and foundations. The first Excellence in Extramural Funding Award goes to Dr. Karen Stokes, professor in the Department of Physiology, and Dr. Wayne Orr, professor in the Department of Pathology. This training grant's purpose is part of the NIH-funded cardiovascular undergraduate research initi initiative for underrepresented students. The overall goal of the MCTP is to provide opportunities for research training in state-of-the-art laboratories with our experienced research scientists, provide opportunities to attend lectures, seminars, and interact with world-renowned scientists, enhance the recruitment of underrepresented groups, and improve the development skills of our trainees. Dr. Lynn Harrison, professor in the Department of Physiology. Dr. Harrison has been a funded researcher with the Louisiana Space Consortium called La Space. She has been the recipient of three La Space research grants since 2017. She has also received two NASA grants, the first beginning in 2019, and her second and current NASA grant was awarded in 2021. This research project involves experiments to determine whether lunar living conditions increased toxic forms of proteins known to be involved in neurodegenerative diseases such as lunar stress and Parkinson's disease. In fiscal year 2021, Dr. Sushil Jain, professor of pediatrics, was awarded a three-year, $1.52 million grant from the NIH's Center for Complementary and Integrative Health to study whether a combination of vitamin D and L-cysteine improves vitamin D levels and reduces insulin resistance and inflammation. Research taking place in Dr. Jane's lab has garnered national attention over the years, and he is considered a world-renowned researcher in the study of diabetes mellitus. Today, it's my excellent pleasure to be able to give the Excellence in Innovation Award. I'm proud to say that the first recipient award is named Dr. Ricardo Costa. Dr. Costa is a postdoctoral fellow and co-founder and CEO of Organum Transplant Solutions. Organum Transplant Solutions is a startup company co-founded by Dr. Costa and Dr. Stephen Alexander with the aim to transform the organ preservation market. Organum Transplant Solutions licensed a technology that was developed here at LSU Health Shreveport. So our second award recipient is Dr. Giovanni Salitro. Dr. Salitro is an assistant professor of orthopedic surgery and the director of the biomechanics lab here at LSU Health Shreveport. Biomechanics, as you know, is especially important to orthopedic surgery. Dr. Salitro's biomechanical lab is the only known lab of its kind in Louisiana, a lab that provides the environment, the equipment, the tools, and the team that can help take basic science research from concept all the way to prototypes. They are testing these devices every day. They are publishing and they're helping surgeons improve their outcomes. This is, to me, is one of the most exciting awards. And it's called the Research Rising Stars. Over the last two years, LSU has been fortunate to recruit and secure wonderful new scientists and physicians, either on the clinical side or the basic science side. And tonight we'll be honoring two faculty members that came in 
2021 for the inaugural award. The faculty members are Dr. Oren Rahm, Assistant Professor in the Department of Pathology, and Dr. Art Yertle, Assistant Professor in the Department of Physiology. Both of these two individuals came to LSU with what is called an NIH K99 R00 award. Those awards are given to postdocs for their outstanding research, and it helps them transition from being a postdoctoral fellow into a faculty member. These two gentlemen came with K99, the R00s. Since they've been here, they have each submitted two R01s to NIH. They've both gotten just in time for at least one of theirs, and they have been constant publishers. Sounds kind of like they're competing, does it not? I'm pleased to present the Excellence in Scholarly Activity Award. Uh, this is a new award uh, which honors faculty members whose work in their respective fields has made a significant single year impact. I will now share the names uh, of the current LSU Health Shreveport faculty members uh, who were recognized in the 2021 rankings. Dr. Yuping Wang, Professor of Clinical Obstetrics and Gynecology. Dr. Andrew Yurochko, Professor of Microbiology and Immunology, Director and PI of the Center for Applied Immunology and Pathological Processes, COBRE, and the Director of the Center for Emerging Viral Threats. Dr. Chris Kevel, Director and PI of the Center for Redox Biology and Cardiovascular Disease, COBRE, and Professor of Pathology, Molecular and Cellular Physiology, and Cell Biology and Anatomy. Dr. Alan Kay, Provost and Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Chief Academic Officer and Professor of Anesthesiology and Pharmacology, Toxicology, and Neurosciences. Dr. Susil Jane, Professor of Pediatrics, and Dr. Shile Wong, Associate Professor of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Ladies and gentlemen, the research being done by these outstanding faculty members is being recognized worldwide. And the scientific impact of their achievements has an impact that extends far beyond our state and our region. I get to do the Community Champion Award. So this was established to acknowledge the individuals who have positively impact our community in going above and beyond to support the continuous growth of research at LSU Health Shreveport. Our first 2020, 2020, 2022 Community Champion Award recipients are Roy O. Martin III and Kathy Kilpatrick Martin. In December of 2021, Martin Sustainable Resources, Roy Martin, Roy Martin III, and Kathy Kilpatrick Martin made a generous gift of $3.5 million to advance the top capital priorities on the LSU campuses, on three of the LSU campuses one being LSU Health Shreveport. $500,000 of this gift from the Martins will support the new Center for Medical Education building and be directed to the Center of Emerging Viral Threats. The Martins investment in this lab is vital to establishing the shreveport Bossier region, region as an attractive long-term location for biotech investments. So our second 2022 Community Champion Award recipient is Dr. Dewey Corley. Earlier this year, it was announced that the Dewey and Gigi Corley, through their Char Charpel Foundation, together with Margaret Place Properties, Francis and William Comages III, and the family of Aaron and Peggy Selber, committed to a combined $1.2 million to establish the first endowment for the Center of Excellence for the emerging viral threats. This gift will provide fundamental support to the center for years to come, enhancing capabilities of our researchers here at LSU Health Shreveport to address the public health needs of the North Louisiana and beyond, elevating our position as a national leader in viral research. So let's look to the future. So the first thing that I'd like to draw your attention to here is the upcoming Stonewall Research Facility. Uh, many of you may not be aware there is a large animal facility out in Stonewall, Louisiana that uh, through the help of uh, Dr. Marquis Pierre, uh, our office, Dr. Lewis, and several others are working to get this brought up to a level uh, that will really advance our capabilities to do things that really allow us to move in a preclinical fashion. 
The next slide here is in relation to the Kathy and Royo Martin CEVT training lab. For those of you that don't know, at the top of that building over across the way is going to be the new Center for Emerging Viral Threat Laboratory. In that laboratory is going to be a mix of a BSL-2 and a BSL-3 facility. So that BSL-3 facility is going to provide opportunities for us here at LSU Health to do not only research, but preclinical development. This is gonna be the only facility in what I can tell all of North Louisiana, Southern Arkansas, East Texas, and pretty much all of Mississippi, where you will be able to come and get training and be able to be certified to work in a BSL-3 facility. This is going to have lasting impact for many, many years to come, and we're super excited. So the other thing I'm gonna take a few moments to do is to share with you all the new researchers that we have, and uh, there are a ton. So one of the things I think that's key to understand is that here we've been working on not only recruiting great talent, but retaining great talent as well, because this is a true team effort. Together is how we move forward and we grow to new heights. So thank you all very much for coming. Have a wonderful evening, and we'll see you next year.